Hi, this is Janice Winward here with Midnight Arts. I am uh, going to try today to do a, a bottle bottom pour. Um, I think I'm going to try to put it on the spinner and spin it out. Um, but And so I just wanted to talk about um, bottle bottoms uh, because I have seen some comments on uh, YouTube about uh, people saying where do you get your bottle bottoms and uh, so I just wanted to say something about that um, this right here is a four petaled um, bottle bottom it has four petals on it the only place I found that had the four was um, and I didn't look at all the drinks and possibly you guys know better than me was this ice um, sparkling ice drink. It says it's um, uh, naturally flavored sparkling water with ant antioxidants and, and, and sorry, <laughs> antioxidants and uh, and vitamins and zero sugar. And it has the four on there. So if you want to make a four petaled flower, um, those are the ones I found for that. Um, now the five uh, petal flowers are much more prevalent. You can get those just a number of places. Uh, so this is a so soda bottle. Um, it is the one one liter bottle, and I I was going to go run to the store and get a couple of two liter bottles, and I forgot because I have some larger campuses that I was thinking maybe I wanted to do a larger one on, but. Um, Anyway, so just any of these soda cans has the um, five bottom on there. So this big one will give you the big bottom. Then this one is the 24 ounce. And so it gives you the smaller size bottle and bottom. And then uh, I did find the smallest ones I found, but I haven't looked at smaller pop bottles. I, I'm not sure if they, they just get shorter. I don't know. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> This is also a five bottom, and it comes off of this um, sparkling hydro, um, no sugar added fruit shot. And it was in the kids section, like in the kids drinks, like the box juices and stuff like that. That's where I found this, and it, and it came in a six pack, and it has the, uh, the smaller five petal bottom on it. So you... So you can get the larger one, that's the four, and medium and a small. So um, those are easy. I mean, you can get those, you know, anywhere. I actually don't drink soda very often. Once in a while, I drink soda. But usually, I don't. And so um, I get those kinds of things from my family because my family does drink it. So those are the five bottom, five petaled ones. Now, the six petals... Um, Christine uh, is the one that had this on her site and said that these are this ice. And I went to the to Walmart and I looked at the bottle bottoms and this is the one that has the six six petals on it. This is the ice. It's different than the other one. This one has a different label. It has these black things on there. The other one does not have green tea in it. This one does have green tea in it. Uh, it says with six essential vitamins and green tea extract. Um, so I did not drink the, these either. Because uh, I don't drink tea, and, and anything that says it has green tea in it, I kind of I'm kind of leery about drinking. So, anyway, this one has the six petals for the bottle bottom, and then uh, and then if you want to do some work, and you drink these. Now I do drink Powerade every once in a while, um, and uh, the bottom is weird. It's not like this. Um, and you can't really see the difference on there, but um, it goes in instead of, it's weird. Anyway, so, but I went ahead and cut the bottom out of that, and you get um, this kind of flat thing, but it does have six grooves in it. So I uh, put some uh, hot glue, or it's the low temp glue, on here to kind of make the grooves a little bit deeper and I think that will probably work to give you six and it's a little bit smaller than the one from the ice drink. It's just slightly smaller. 
but if you want it even smaller, they have smaller Powerade bottles that you can also cut, and it's got this, it's weird in there, but you can cut it out, and it's a little bit heavier plastic, so when you're trying to cut the bottom out of that, it's a little bit harder, and I did the same thing with that. Just put some uh, glue on the high points to make them a little bit higher, and so then uh, I have three different sizes of the six petals. I have the ice and the large Powerade and then the small Powerade bottles um, that I just had to modify a little bit and I, I think they'll work. I hope they'll work. And then uh, and then this, oh another six six petal one that you can modify if you don't want to get the ice drink is um, this comes out of a fruit um, bottle and the bottom goes in like it does in the power aid it goes instead out and so but you can cut that out and this is actually uh, I have the bottom cut out of this one and so um, you can see this this part goes inside the jar but um, I went ahead and cut those out as well and put um, put the glue on them to make the raised parts a little bit higher and they will also give you uh, a six petal, and th but they're just about the same size, a little bit bigger, but just about the same size as the Powerade bottles. So, it's my opinion that you can make bottle bottoms to do your bottle bottom pours out of out of whatever, as long as you're willing to just work on it and modify it a little bit. Um, then you should be able to find something that works. Oh, this is something that I tried. <laughs> um, this is out of a water bottle, a large water bottle, I think. But it's really flat. Um, it doesn't have much um, depth to it there. So I did put some glue on the high points. And if that were to work, you'd probably, it's got a pretty small area here that you'd have to probably pour pretty slowly in there. But um, if it were to work, it would give you a 10 petal flower <laughs> if you ever wanted one that was a 10. Um, so anyway, that, anyway, there are just a number of ways that you can, uh, create, uh, bottle bottoms if you don't have the, the soda bottles or the other drink bottles that you can get, um, the bottoms out of. Uh, now I also, um, today I'm planning on, um, doing a bottle bottom pour and spinning it, but I want to use purples. And uh, I got paid, when I got paid recently, I went and bought some new paint. Oh, I got, I got squeeze bottles. Um, I, yeah, I bought squeeze bottles off Amazon. I, I started at the link on um, Sandra Lett's Amazon page, started there. And, and I thought I got the kind that she had on her page, but they don't, they're only eight ounces. They don't seem to be as big as hers. I guess maybe hers are only eight ounces. But anyway, I, I did get some new colors. And um, and so I want to talk over the new colors that I got that will be used. I don't know that I'll be using all of them t today, but I will be using them. And I still have paint left over from the other colors as well. So I got this um, Folk Art um, Neon Green. And the... Um, Folk Art Neon Pink. I got a color shift. This is um, uh, Red Flash. Red Flash. It is supposed to be a, a color shift metallic. Um, mix it up in the bottle and it looks more orange than red to me. Uh, of course it did in this bottle. It looks more orange. So I don't know how I'm going to like that with my things because my idea was to put um, blues, purples, and reds together because I think that makes a good combination. Actually, when I was a child growing up, my mom had a carpet, a shag carpet, I believe it, in, in her bedroom that was, that had um, the blue, purple, and red in it. And it was beautiful. And so anyway, I thought that I would do that, but that red I'm not sure will work very well in that, um, in, in that because it looks so orange to me. Then I also have this. This is just an old one. I had Sargent's Art um, Mars Black. And uh, I will be putting sil silicone. Actually, all of these colors will have silicone in them. I'll be putting silicone in this. Um, and 
I have the other mixed up that is the, just the flat house paint that I mixed up that I can use for the base but it doesn't have silicone in it but this one I'm going to be pour, pouring in the cups or whatever I use it for so um, so I mixed up the Mars black for for that and it will have silicone in it and I have the Liquitex Basics um, titanium white uh, up until this point I all the white I've been using has been the house paint the semi gloss house paint um, and I decided I'm just going to be using that for the base, you know, to cover the canvas the first before I pour. But when I'm actually putting it in the cups, I will use this uh, titanium white. So there's that. And uh, then I have um, Master's Touch Violet. Um, yeah, Master's Touch Violet. That's one of the new ones. I've got another color shift. Oh, this is an Extreme Sheen Metallic uh, Amethyst. A am <laughs> you know, I can say that in my head, but saying it on video is wrong. Is weird. Amethyst. Um, and then I got tons of purples. All different kinds of purples. They might hopefully they'll show like they're different. They won't all look the same on the canvases. And this is Apple Barrel. Um, it says Outdoor indoor gloss deep purple so we'll be using that and liquitex basics um, brilliant brilliant purple so I have some of that mixed up in a squeeze bottle and some of this apple barrel um, lilac mist and then here, this is my other color shift one. It's a, the purple one, and it is purple flash. So it's a metallic color shift one. Okay, and I have this metallic um, ultra, e extreme sheen sapphire. When I got home and was mixing it up, I found that I had some metallic sapphire. Um, oh, and this is by Decolart. Um, mixed up in one of my little cups, but it's, it wasn't the extreme sheen. And since I had purchased the extreme sheen, I went ahead and mixed it up in in the squeeze bottle. Um, then I have this um, tropical blue. It is um, Apple Barrel Outdoor Gloss um, Tropical Blue that I mixed up in a in my squeeze bottle. And I I had a silver, a metallic silver. Um, that I had mixed up before that I did not like. It just look, made things look muddy, muddy and gray in my paintings. I didn't like the way it looked. So I got a different silver. This is Liquitec Basics um, silver. Uh, and it is also in a squeeze bottle. And then I have, um, I mixed up some of this Primary Cayenne or cyan. I've always said cayenne, but I don't know. But So that's in one of my squeeze bottles as well. And fuchsia. This is apple barrel, apple barrel fuchsia. It's in a squeeze bottle. Then I also have out on the table that I'm planning on using um, the gray purple by um, Sergeant Arts. Um, and that was some, some I had mixed up prior, so it's in a cup. Well, yeah, it's in a cup um, instead of the squeeze bottle. Because I ran out of squeeze bottles. I bought those squeeze bottles and filled them all up. Ran out of squeeze bottles, so I'll still be using some of my cups until I can get some more squeeze bottles. And then the other one that's already that I already had mixed up and have used before in the um, and it's in the cup is the uh, petun it's apple barrel petunia purple. So those are the colors that I am planning on using. Um, for the next few paintings because I want to get some purples in there and uh, uh, of course I'll still be doing my blues because I love I love the blues so I will uh, get these paints organized and get these uh, bottles off my table and I'll be right back to do some painting <music> 